Good morning to everyone. Mexico is glad to co-sponsor the 15th Annual Psychology Day at the United Nations, as we did last year. We are delighted to join forces once again with those who have been at the forefront of this issue at the UN. We'd like to thank the organizers, especially for highlighting the interlinkages between climate change and mental health. We believe this topic merits an in-depth analysis because it is seldomly discussed. Since Mexico became an elected member of the Security Council in January 2021, we have followed a simple but proactive strategy to promote the issue of mental health and psychosocial support as fundamental items in the paradigm of sustaining peace within the UN system. We have focused on giving these issues greater visibility in the debates and forums of the organization's main organs and in incorporating references to mental health in relevant resolutions at the Security Council, the General Assembly, and ECOSOC as well. Furthermore, we recently hosted an area formula meeting in access to mental health and psychological support in those situations of conflict, post-conflict, and humanitarian settings. I am happy to report that it was a very successful meeting, and we will soon be sharing a summary to continue strengthening the mental health agenda at the United Nations. The reason behind these efforts is very simple. Neglecting mental health, particularly of people in vulnerable situations, means we are heading towards a silent pandemic. Prioritizing mental health and psychological well-being, on the other hand, is essential for overall well-being and for the global health agenda. For those reasons, we commend the organizers of this event and for focusing on contributions to climate action. We can all agree that combating climate change requires an international and coordinated response. But these strategies also involve addressing the mental health consequences that may arise if we do not take action soon. It is no coincidence that for the first time, the 2022 Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Report underscores the mental health impacts of climate change. For example, the report notes that mental health disorders, mostly anxiety and related mood disorders, are likely to increase under further global warming, particularly in children, adolescents, the elderly, and those with underlying health conditions. In addition, experts have also reported on the psychological consequences associated with extreme weather and climate events. I encourage everyone interested to read the report's recommendation aimed at reducing mental health risks related to climate change and promoting better psychosocial interventions. But most importantly, I welcome the opportunity to keep discussing this issue. We probably haven't been able to fully witness the true impact that climate change will have on our overall mental health and emotional well-being. So let's make sure we act now before the true weight of inaction makes its full mark. Thank you very much and most successful meeting to all of you.